really wanna know about it, no way. No, I don't really feel like it, no way. Just thought I'd sing you into the intro for some reason. <laughs> I was feeling like it. What was I doing? Oh yeah, that was it. I was making an Xbox tutorial, bro. That's what I was actually doing. I was making an Xbox tutorial. I had to verify your ID on your Xbox console because you now need to do that. Otherwise, you do not have access to Xbox features. I swear down. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to verify your age using ID on your Xbox profile. If you don't do this, you will lose access to a lot of social features on your Xbox console when using Xbox Live, which includes being able to talk to other Xbox users. So if you want to talk to other Xbox users, plus all of the other really great things you can do when gaming online on your Xbox, then you might want to follow these steps that I'm about to show you. Let's show you how to verify your age on your Xbox console for your Xbox profile so you don't lose access to those really cool features. Let's go. So here we are on my Xbox console. And yes, I have my glasses back on because I need to see absolutely everything in order to do this correctly. And in the top left-hand corner of the screen, you will see my gamer profile. I'm currently covering it. So I'm gonna take my camera off so you can see my Xbox profile name, my username, and of course my actual name of my account. So hold on a second. The reason why I'm showing you this is to let you know that you need to be signed in to your Xbox account and that is where you can see where you're logged into currently because on Xbox as you may already know you can log into more than one profile so if somebody's logged in on your profile you might want to make sure you are currently signed out so you're not causing yourself any confusion when you're verifying your account so in order to double check which account you're on another thing you can do is you can press the Xbox home button home button on your controller as you can see, this opens up a side panel. Moving over to the far right hand side, one, two, three, four, five, to profile and system, you can see which profile you are currently signed into. From this page, if you follow along, you can go to settings. The settings page is where you're going to verify your ID. So let's press settings from here. This will open up a settings menu. In the settings menu, there are a few options. You have general, and then account below general. So from the top, you just want to scroll down once. This will take you to your account information. From here, right now, we have something very new on the right hand side. It's verify your age. Select verify your age from the account tab in the settings on your profile. Right here, we have an option. You can use the QR barcode, which will take you directly to the page where you need to verify your account. Or alternatively, you can go to xbox.com on your phone. Now, Xbox is pushing you to do this on your mobile device. If like me, you do not have a very high standard up-to-date mobile phone, you can visit the website directly. Now, if you do have a, a mobile phone that enables you to scan that QR barcode account, it will be a lot easier. And I know this is where a lot of you are going to struggle, but I'm here to help. I'm gonna need my glasses in order to do this. Otherwise we can't do this. So if I don't, if I don't, if I don't see, then I can't show you. So I'm gonna have to see in order to show you how it's done. All right, let's go. So uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm, I'm going to log into my Xbox account on my mobile device. Right, so I'm going to show you what I'm doing on screen right now. I'm going to count you in exactly when the recording starts. And we're going to count you down in three, two, one. I had to itch my nose there. Right, and then now, right now, I'm recording my screen and I'll be able to show you exactly what I'm seeing on my mobile device. I'm using quite a small mobile device as you can see right here. Yours will be bigger if you are in the modern age of mobile phones. Like, so I have a spare mobile phone. Somehow I managed to get my old one on. This one was actually like super broke, but I've managed to actually get it to turn on. But this is the one, the kind of older one, technically. And it's bigger, but whatever. Most mobile phone devices, if you got the internet, you'll be able to have a bigger view on your website here. 
let's see if we can get this done with this phone because I can't get it done with that one. All right, so here we go. Right, so I'm on the Xbox account. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to click the profile icon in the top right hand corner because it, has, it hasn't automatically logged me in. Now you're going to have to bear with me because this internet might be absolutely horrible on this mobile device. I'm... I don't know what the hell that's doing there. Right, okay, so once you've got to the stage where you've logged into your account, it will take you to this page. And right here it says verify your age to access full Xbox social features. To help keep Xbox safe and secure, a safe and secure place, we require verification for full access to social features. To avoid any interruptions, verify your age now by Yoti, which of course is one of the verification processes that many of the websites have been using uh, throughout the UK um, verification processes that we've had so far. Uh, to avoid any interruptions, verify by Yoti, a secure service that offers multiple ways to confirm your age. And then you have the option to select verify my age with Yoti. So I'm going to select that right now. And then we're going to go through this whole process. So most likely we're asked to see my face. We're asked to see my ID with my face and my holding up my ID, all those kind of things, um, which I'm going to do right now. Yoti software, safe and secure, age estimation, take a photo. So there are a few options here. Let's keep this nice and simple. It says, how do you want to confirm your age? You have age estimation to take a photo of your face and confirm your age or ID verification. Confirm your age with passport, driving license or national ID. I'm going to use the ID verification. Alternatively, you can use credit card check. So enter your card details to confirm your age, 18 or over. That's no cost to, uh, for this service. Then you have mobile provider. Enter your mobile number to confirm your age with your provider. And then you have your data remains private, which is just letting you know that your data is going to remain private and safe and secure, where your is trying to reassure you, the user, that your data is safe with them. For me, I am going to go for the identification because I have my British passport right here. It's a lot easier for me to use this uh, sometimes with the age estimation because as you can guess by looking at me, I mean, I got ID'd for party poppers the other day, which I thought was quite hilarious. I'm 34 years old right now and you need to be over 18 in order to purchase party poppers from a card shop. So I was at the card shop and I got ID'd by a cute girl. I was like, that's so cute. Um, so, okay. <laughs> So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go for the uh, ID just to save the hassle of it trying to say that I look younger than I am because I do look, you know, look at me. <laughs> right, so let's go for the identification right now. ID verification is easy and secure. Right, take a photo of your ID, upload it from your device and we can scan your face. We may scan your face. Uh to check the ID you provided belongs to you, yeah, whatever. Once you confirmed your age, we do not store or share the ID document or face scan. Cool, let's go, so let's go. So the first thing I need to do is take a photo of my ID. I wanna do that right now, but obviously I'm not gonna show you my passport so people can steal that identification information. So I'm gonna take a photo of my ID right now using the lighting that I have currently provided. So a photo of your ID, quick scan of your face, let's go, I'm ready, get started. So I'll select get started agot.com the government's really going to like this uh, video right now uh, passport is what i'm going to go for i do have driving license but of course when you have a provisional driving license i wouldn't advise you use that it's more it's better when you use one that you have passed with now here in the uk we do not no longer have national insurance card national insurance card was another way you could kind of um check your age or identification we don't have those anymore we haven't had those since 2000 and like six might have been earlier might have been 2002 uh, they got discontinued quite a while, a while ago so let's go we're going to continue for now i've selected the id that i want to take a picture of it's just letting me know to make sure that the picture is sharp the edges are not covered and find a light area now i have some lighting for myself but i would advise that if you're using natural light get in a bright place so that your camera can have an evenly lit picture taken so what you want to do this is the reason why it was better that you went for your mobile phone device when you're verifying your age with this xbox process right now so i'm going to take the photo right over here to the right all right now here it says please don't close this window until we've uploaded your passport this usually takes less than a minute all right so it's almost done this is going to be done in a second now it's just a yoti process through xbox so of course there we go so now we need to take a 
a quick scan of my face, which is a very difficult process if you're doing this on your own. If you do have somebody to help you take this picture, then get the help because obviously it's, it's, a, it's a really tedious process if you can't, you know, take selfies very well. All right, so I'm going to get into that process right now. So I'm going to click continue and it's going to ask me or it's going to say something that your data not being stored. I'm like, whatever, like I can send whatever, whatever, whatever. And a criminal baby. <laughs> right, so find a good area with lighting. Now, as I said, I've got an additional light that I'm using right now so I can do this process a lot easier. Um, be aware that your upper body and background are visible whatever uh, hold your phone eye level so i'm not going to use the light that's behind me because that might give an additional it's when the camera's trying to take pictures just think of the lighting that you've got you know what i mean to go for uh it's running security checks then if it's going to go for uh the face cam the selfie cam or the camera on the other side of the phone as i said i'm using quite a small phone here so i've got a nice white background and i'm a black man so i can go against the white background if i need to yeah 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 yeah, yeah. allow you should have already had access oh it's going for the selfie cam Okay, not too bad. I'm going to take these off. Right. So just like that, my age has been verified for my Xbox profile. Now, remember, it's for a specific profile. It's not for every profile on your console. You will need to do this for each profile so if it's your profile you need to prove that it's your profile in order to of course have access like this so this is what you need to be able to do uh so right, right now uh, we've confirmed you meet the required age at the age of 34 i'm very happy that i meet the required age in order to use the uh social services of xbox console and i'm going to go to the website now i can dismiss all the other information i've just confirmed my age on xbox that's how you do it so it's much like it just says thank you for keeping xbox safe your age is verified and you have full access to all xbox social and communication features you may close this window so it's a bit of a tedious process let's summarize exactly what i've just done and so that you can understand the process and then maybe we can discuss it a little bit more as well here in this video and possibly in a few more videos coming forward so let's summarize exactly what we've just done baby so let's quickly summarize exactly what we've just done in that xbox kind of walkthrough tutorial on how to verify your age for your xbox profile number one we signed into the profile that we wanted to verify so of course it needs to be your own profile because you're going to use your own id it needs to match that information from your identification to your xbox profile needs to match otherwise this will not work you will run into issues so sign into your account which is connected to your email account so your xbox account will have an email account with information already on it that's how you create your xbox account now if you need to double check your email account you can always spot it in the top left hand corner of the screen which i showed you at the start of the video now i've taken mine off because i want to keep mine private when i'm streaming and all those sort of things so you don't know the email account that i'm using for my xbox account but it will show by default for your profile number two you then need to go through to the website now i did mention in the video in the video that you may access the xbox website in order to begin your verification process but that will require you to sign in again so I do advise using your mobile phone to scan that QR barcode because if you're already signed into your Xbox or email account on your mobile phone, this is going to be a lot easier. Also, it's going to be easier when verifying because you then have your mobile phone ready to take the pictures of your ID and to take your selfie if you're using that method. And the other methods that are available will also be easier if you're using your mobile phone device. So do keep that in mind when you get to the step of scanning the QR barcode or going to the website directly. It's going to be a lot easier when using your mobile phone device because you can take the pictures of the ID like I've just mentioned and the other processes are going to be easier number three so once you've verified your account with the correct id you need the correct id in order to verify so here in the uk the best id that you can always have at hand when going through these processes is a british passport this is the best id currently available for you as a british 
citizen. So if you're in the UK, this is what you want to use. But it's also if you're in other countries as well, because of course, everything is kind of locked together with this ID. So your passport will have, of course, your date of birth, where you live or where your nationality is from or where you are, all those sort of things, all in this. So this is going to be your go-to ID. You can use other forms of identification as well if you don't have a passport. ID, always think of your passport first, always going to be the best option. But a driving license, again, is something that you can use. Now, I've got a provisional driving license because I did not pass my test even though I passed the theory test, but you, I have a provisional, so it's green here in the UK from the DVLA. If you've passed, it would be red. So the red driving license is what you can use as another form of identification. Not the best one to use. Again, you want to use a passport if you're verifying using the Yotai service. And there are other options as well. Remember, keep that in mind. So let's summarize the whole process of giving your identification for your Xbox profile for this process. Let's summarize that all into one thing so is the process easy no not really no because you need to make sure that you have a seamless connection between your xbox account and of course the identification process if you're not going through mobile as i've mentioned it's going to be horrible for you you're going to have to go through the website sign up to your account find your way into your email account if you don't have your email password which you will need it's going to be a absolute headache so in the comment section i do employ anybody who has the additional information that they may have had issues with to add that to the comment section why it helps the community so when there's other xbox users that are trying to go through this process if you're running into a very unique barrier of access to get this done you adding that to the comment section is going to help somebody else who might have the same issue also, I'm very experienced with Xbox because I've had Xbox for quite a long time since Xbox 360 and I also did have the original Xbox at my uncle's house. So I have a lot of experience with Xbox. That's, a couple of, that's quite a long time and I'm currently teaching and have been teaching Xbox now also for quite a long time. So with these kinds of processes, I do have that extra help that I can provide to you. Check out the Xbox playlist that I've already uploaded. You can find a lot more there as well. So if you're having problems getting your profile back, if you're having problems with your profile in general, all of those kind of things, I have that actually available. I'm also technically an Xbox ambassador as well still. So there's also that as well with a few other people that are Xbox ambassadors like Black Girl Gamers are in there as well. Big up and shout out to Black Girl Gamers. But there's quite a few Xbox ambassadors as well that I do occasionally run into on xbox or I talk to them occasionally as well and i can provide that inside knowledge sometimes on how you can get around some of the issues that you have when you're trying to complete processes like this through xbox yes it's tedious yes there's going to be some issues but that's the reason why this video is not just the subject matter and the tutorial that i'm doing there's also the community in the comment section i'll leave that comment section open if you're having issues try to explain what it is so that you can be helped because there's no use coming to me being like didn't work i'm like how what happened what was the barrier what changed for you those are those kind of things that help because then if I need to update the video as well, I can update it and make another one. Cool. That's the summary. You know, hopefully you've got through it. I know it's a bit of a headache for those of you who may not have certain IDs and have been gaming with Xbox for a long time. But I'm here to help with this issue. And there might be some other gaming issues that I might be able to help you with. Also, check out the other playlists that are relevant to you. I've built playlists not only to help you find the content that's relevant to you, but also find the help that I've already given that might be available on my channel check those out this is where we're going to end the video there's a lot more where this came from if you want to have this discussion as well i can continue this discussion on the having to verify your age for your xbox gaming profile so let's talk about it if you really want to talk about it i'm here thanks for watching and remember launch see you in the next one man thought i'd give a summary something different yeah <laughs>